So hi Lance. How you going? Thank you. Good, thank you. So thank you very much for being here today. Uh, so how, in your opinion, how do you approach having a conversation with somebody who's struggling with mental health? Uh, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one for each different circumstance, isn't it? So each sort of relationship that I have in terms of trying to open that conversation, it changes. The easiest one for people to do actually is just maybe just like sending a text message sort of thing. Yeah. Just, you know, open it out with a, just a sort of general question of just how you're going. Yeah. It's just sort of the more you sort of damn the question at them sort of thing, the, the sort of more people are going to get their back up, especially if there's something actually going on. Um, yeah. And it's not sort of easy for anybody to do. I mean, we, we say it's, uh, it takes us just much just as much courage to reach out than it is to be reached out to. So. Definitely, it, it takes a huge amount of courage and yeah. the more conversations we have, the more we can sort of normalise it and make it more relatable for other people. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. And that's the thing, the more we normalise it, the better it's going to be. And most of the time people are so afraid of you know, reaching out and asking for help, so it's really great that if somebody else can do it for them, they feel like they have some sort of permission to be able to really talk about their feelings in a safe environment. About feeling acknowledged. You know, acknowledge yeah. for your situation that you're going through, yeah. um, because when you're going through the challenges and the stress that comes with it, you, your decision making's a bit hazier. Mm, so definitely. you're sort of not thinking as clear. So yeah. other people are recognising those behaviours. Um, hopefully, that they can sort of, you know, as I said, place that sort of sense of acknowledgement and yeah. the fact that they are going through a challenge. And if so, other people are seeing it, hopefully that we can see it ourselves, yeah. which is quite hard because when you're in the situation yourself. Yeah. You don't often see it. No, you, it's yeah, often it's quite, hard. your judgment's often quite clouded. So the more we could sort of get onto that earlier, Definitely. you know, the people, so, you know, yeah. we can do it together. And so in your opinion as well, how do you believe diet and exercise can really help in, uh, your mental and your physical health? It's creating a holistic approach. So if you're trying to put so much focus in on one area, it's not going to work. Um, trying to create different avenues um, so you can create the diversity, so you can overcome the adversity. Exercise is a big thing because you know and it's not so much doing it to a strict high level mm -hmm. it's about just creating a sort of a, a routine and a pathway for you to be able to go okay this is you know it's also me time as well mm -hmm. um you know for myself now i still exercise you know four times a week pretty much and it's so much the physical benefit but it's just finding me time yeah. and that's what it is and you know obviously nutritional value that comes into it as well so if you're eating mcdonald's every single day it's not going to be great for your health which is not going to be great for your mental health which is not great for you so um you know not being too strict on it because there's a level that obsessive compulsive that comes into it as well so yeah. exercise is a big thing but if you can also ex exercise throwing exercising with others mm -hmm. it's, it's a good one it's like a social aspect yeah the yeah. social connectedness of it and it also be, keeps you accountable because it's, e it's really easy when you're doing it all the time by yourself to say, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow or I'll do yeah. it the next day or just sort of not do it. Mm. But if you're sort of doing it with others, it's, it creates that accountability, which, you know, and there's more benefits to it. And, you know, you're having conversations while you're doing it and you're actually connecting that way. Yeah, is that in terms of um, if you're speaking to a 13 year old who's struggling with trying to get motivated for exercise, would you encourage them to participate in a team sport with other people? Team sports are become a place of safety. Mm -hmm. You know, they can become that real place of acknowledgement for yeah. people um, and feel comfortable in doing it. It's not, you're not going to go into a team sport if you don't think you're really going to be any good at it and yeah. then it sort of goes against your, um, your self-esteem because you're not achieving or something like that. But it's all about your interpretation of why you want to be in a team sport as well. So for me, I've always been in team sports since I was four years old um, and it was a real place of acknowledgement and safety for me and a place of happiness because you know you'd rock up to training or game day and you're with your mates doing your thing you know good times bad times wins losses the whole thing you're doing it together definitely and you would have had the experience for being an ex-football player it's um and then i suppose that social connectedness comes back to what we were talking about before it sort of stimulates your mental health and allows you to feel a sense of belonging which i think everybody especially when they're young really really needs for, yeah. for, for their mental health yeah, definitely and that's the thing we, everyone just wants to belong mm. isn't it and it doesn't matter whether it's school or you know, sports club, music club, or wherever you're doing in your life, you just want to be able to belong. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the thing that the kids these days are really finding hard because there's a lot of social disconnected. Mm -hmm. yeah? Um, yeah. So, and that's just the world that we're living in at the moment, which is quite scary. But 
the more we can sort of engage in places where we feel a belonging, yeah. the better off we're going to be. And for myself, my, um, my teenage years were the same. This is 20 odd years ago that my school years were a bit of a battle so I didn't, cause I didn't feel like I belonged. Yeah. And it's interesting that if more people like you were able to talk about their own experiences, perhaps we'd be able to normalise these conversations a bit more and realise that everybody is, has sort of a common theme within if with different issues that they experience surrounding feelings of isolation and inadequacy and vulnerability. Everyone will find something different in what they connect with and how they connect to it. But the more people are sharing, oh, sharing is caring, you know, yeah. is that how we always talk about. But the more people are opening up, it just creates another avenue for people to, for them to open up as well. Yeah. Every time I um, do a, a presentation or a seminar, we have a number of people that come up, thanks for it very much. Yeah. I can now, you know, I've been going through this and it just create, you just see a little bit of um, weight lifted off their shoulders yeah. sort of thing. Oh, I can say something now mm. because the more we are holding that in, mm. the harder it is. Yeah, yeah, I think it's really hard in the social media age as well, yeah. trying to yeah. <laughs> again, navigate technology and your language and communication. The art of communication is definitely changing, which can impact people's discussions surrounding mental health, especially with um, sport and exercise too. And it's, it is just a, a challenge. Yeah. Uh, I understand that life's challenges throw, you know, throws us at us all, all day, every yeah. day. Um, but you how can't we, escape them. You can't escape them. No, no, no. And, and it's the thing is, we talk about with our mental health journey is that someone asked me the other day is, is who's more sort of susceptible to these issues, mm. yeah? And it's anybody, mm. yeah? We're all playing the same game, yeah. just on different levels. Yeah, no, that's a very good way to put it. We're all playing the same game on different levels. Yeah. So thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate your time and effort. It's been a wonderful experience, especially for sharing your own personal journey. So Cheers. thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Cheers, you. appreciate it.